One thing that bothers me about personal productivity systems is how involved they often are. They take a lot of time to set up, manage, and maintain, and then you have to stick with them and remember they exist every single day or else the entire thing will fall apart. And personally, I just don't have patience for that. I just do not have patience for that at all. So today in this video, I wanna share with you my extremely effective but simple system for managing my time as an artist and as a content creator. And thank you to Acaflow for sponsoring this video. The first step to my system is to set your main priorities. Personally, my main priorities in life right now are my business, like my career, my YouTube channel, and my art, like fostering that creative growth. My artistic journey is extremely important to me. I wanna be the best artist that I can be, and that requires making time for my art. One of the productivity quotes that really had a lot of impact on me went something like this. The key is not to prioritize your schedule, but to schedule your priorities. And that's really where the first step of this system comes into play. You are setting your main priorities so that you can prioritize them in your schedule. Acknowledging what your focuses are in life right now will get you really far into actually like being able to identify steps and moments where you can work on those things. Step two of my system is to identify your constraints and your responsibilities. Your constraints are the unmovable parts of your schedule, parts of your daily routine that you just have to do no matter what, right? Things like going to work or going to school or your daily commute doctor's appointments, stuff that you can't really move and that everything has to work around. But in contrast, your responsibilities are just things that like are expected of you, things that you have to do every single week, like homework, dishes, making your kid up from a soccer game, like whatever, stuff that you can kind of like move a little bit around, but you are still expected to do those things and they are things that you do have to plan the rest of your life around. Stuff that you just have to get done. Personally, right now, I don't have a lot of constraints on my schedule. I like to go hiking every so often, but those are optional activities for me, right? And I don't often have like those big unmovable things, but I do have a lot of responsibilities. I have housework, taking care of my cat, and then I of course have all of the stuff that I have to do every single week for my business, right? I have a YouTube video that should go live every single week. I have an email newsletter. And these two things are kind of unmovable. I can do them whenever I want to, but they generally have to get done. I have sponsorships and like contracts to fulfill, all of that stuff that really like, yes, there can be some flexibility there. And I don't like have specific points in my day where I have to work on them, but they do have to get done every single week or every single month. So now that you've figured out the stuff that you want to do and the stuff that you have to do, we can actually make a plan. This is going to be different for every single person. This requires just knowing yourself a little bit. You have to figure out whether you're forgetful, how much you really like routines, whether or not you find yourself very prone to procrastination, need more structure, etc. Whatever system you end up building that works for you, just keep all of that stuff in mind. All of your priorities, your constraints, and your responsibilities. All the stuff that you have to do and stuff that you want to do. Make sure that when you are figuring out your schedule, you prioritize your priorities. That's kind of the whole point of making them, you know what I mean? This sounds like time blocking. It doesn't have to be. Personally, I do not do strict time blocking. I find that extremely stifling. I prefer, honestly, to mostly just run on instinct. Once I have a really big plan, a really big like broad overview of the stuff that I wanna do and focus on, like my content calendar and my quarterly business goals, I can kind of just like run from there. And if it's really important to me, I'll usually just do it. And regardless of how simple and laid back this system is, my life is kind of complicated and I'm, liable to forget stuff and it makes me really nervous about doing that so what i do is whenever i encounter a task that i think i'm liable to forget like filling out a contract or writing an email i will write it down i will keep track of all of those tiny little things all of those things that are like neither responsibilities nor are they priorities all of like the tiny admin tasks i will keep a big list of them and then i will devote like two, three hours a week to just going through those tasks in big chunks. And the tool that I use to do that is called Acaflow, which is the sponsor of this week's video actually, so lucky them. Acaflow is a time blocking platform that makes it easy to consolidate all of your tasks in one place. 
They integrate with tons of productivity tools out there like Notion, Todoist, Slack, Gmail, Trello, ClickUp, Asana, and anything else you can think of. What I really like is how flexible and versatile Akaflow is as a tool. I don't personally prefer to plan my entire day with time blocking, but Akaflow doesn't urge you to fill up every single waking moment with tasks if you don't want to. I like to use Akaflow's keyboard shortcuts in their mobile app to quickly note down all of the little tasks that come up throughout my day and my week that I'm liable to forget. Stuff like answering emails, scheduling videos, cleaning my paintbrushes, and signing contracts. All of the tiny little things that I feel like slip through my fingers and through the cracks of my day if I don't catch up with them. When I'm ready to work on these tasks, I just check my Akaflow inbox and I can see all of the stuff that I have to do. From there, I can schedule those tasks on particular days, give them time estimates, deadlines, or a label to categorize them into groups. If you feel like your day is going by too fast, Akaflow can help you stop feeling so overwhelmed and stay on track. If you want to give it a shot, check out the link in the description for a free trial and to learn more. And thank you again to Akaflow for sponsoring this week's video. So now that you have a general idea of like the broad overview of my system, let's see it in practice. Let's take a look at a typical day in my life. So the first thing that I really do in the morning, even though I don't love doing this, I usually just check my email. I'll check my YouTube analytics if I posted a video the day prior or on that morning. And I just kind of see how things are going. I'll answer emails for a hot second, do whatever I have to do, and then I will launch into my main task for the day. So the nice part about having really clear, established priorities in my life is that I can kind of theme my days accordingly. So like I said before, I do not do strict time blocking. I don't really do to-do lists. I just kind of run on vibes, basically. And what I like to do the most, the thing that helps me eliminate a lot of overwhelm is to tackle one major project every single day. So there are kind of three general types of days in my work week. There are YouTube days, there are admin, strategy, businessy kind of days, and then there are painting days. This particular day was kind of a combination of painting and YouTube. I started the day by editing this YouTube video, getting all of the cuts polished, adding in some fun text, transitions, sound effects, all of the normal things that usually takes me a good chunk of time. I typically edit a video in around four to six hours, sometimes more. This day I was kind of distracted. I wasn't really at my best and I ended up getting a little bit of a migraine by just like looking at the screen for too long, which resulted in this. I might have to get my like super not sexy, like eye mask ice pack out of the freezer and just like put it on my forehead. Oh my God though, it feels so nice. This looks so stupid though. Like I guarantee this looks like the stupidest thing ever. This is what it's like to be a YouTuber. <laughs> this is just, you know, <laughs> God, I look so stupid. Looking extremely ridiculous, just like that, I ended up finishing up that edit pretty shortly thereafter. And then I decided to script this video. So, Sometimes I will script right away in Notion. Other times I find that journaling, like in a notebook, helps me kind of kick that writing block or whatever and move a little bit faster. So I wrote a little bit and I pet my cat, <laughs> answered some more emails. And then after that edit was just completely done, I decided to go ahead and paint for the rest of the day. I work on a lot of different paintings at once and I'm not a particularly like, fast artist, I would think. Um, and there's a lot of art that I make that I just don't put on the internet because like that's for me, that's like the stuff that I do to practice. It's messy, it's bad, whatever. And for this particular session, I wanted to work in my sketchbook. I have this really big goal for the year of finishing a sketchbook. I have only ever finished one sketchbook. So finishing another one is kind of a big achievement for me. I know that sounds really lame, but anyway, I wanted to do some master studies in gouache. I have not really done a lot in gouache recently, and I really love the medium. So this particular painting is a master copy of a Granville Redmond painting. Granville Redmond was a was an impressionist at kind of like the turn of the 20th century, I think, in California. And his work is great. It's super detailed. This particular piece is very atmospheric. It falls into the tonalist movement in art history. 
which is a movement that I have been very interested in over the past couple of months. But yeah, it was just nice to practice these oranges, this nice loose brushwork in gouache, and I did not add nearly as many details as Granville Redmond did in his original painting, but I think it definitely captures the spirit of the original. This is a very average day in my life. Like, it's not glamorous. It's not, I don't know, like, extremely entertaining or anything, but I get my work done and I have fun and it's very chill. I really try to live a low stress lifestyle if I can and I like to think that I've achieved that. So yeah, this is what a normal day in my life looks like. If you want to see more videos just like this one, feel free to click on your screen right now for lots of other content. And if you want to see even more of me or maybe even hear my takes on AI art, you might want to check out my email newsletter which will be linked in the description. Thank you again to Akaflow for sponsoring this video, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See ya.